Here's a 1987 interview with football player and businessman Mel Farr about racism in sports. What about the situation of emphasis in terms of black coaches, not only in the NBA, but the NFL, where there are none? You know, I, I left the, uh, uh, the Detroit Lions in the NFL in uh, 1974. 1975, I became an automobile dealer. At the time I became a Ford dealer, there was only 16 uh, Ford uh, black dealerships in the country. Uh, there are no black vice presidents of Ford Motor Company. Uh, there are, uh, are very few blacks in the, in the top management of our, of our largest corporations in, in, in America. There are no black coaches. There are no black general managers in, in, in professional football. What it, is saying, what it is saying to us, and I find, I find it very difficult to deal with it as a player. Uh, we can play, we can run, but we cannot coach. We cannot be general managers. Uh, and um, the, the reason, why, reason for that is that, that they don't think that we are smart enough are intelligent enough all right, for them to put their multi-million dollar club in our hands and, and for us to go out and, and, and perform uh, as the corporations uh, uh, don't feel that we're capable of doing it. And I say you don't know if we're, uh, we're capable unless you give us an opportunity to prove you know, that we're capable of doing. Now, Casey Jones, uh, I think, has done an outstanding job of coaching the Boston Celtics. But nobody really mentioned how, how good of a job of Casey, Casey Jones have, have done with uh, the Boston Celtics. Uh, you take Bill Russell, he was the only coach to coach two back-to-back -back, uh, uh, in, in, uh, NBA champions. Uh, uh, no one talks about that. Uh, we are capable if given the opportunity. 